wine lovers, today I have a special video for you guys. I'm in Yunnan at Red Chateau Yunnan Wine Yard and today I'm gonna show you something that is very new here in China, wine. The wine production here in China has not been around for so long, however, here in Yunnan it's up and coming right now and I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you what wine could be here in China. Let's go! So where is this damn place? Well, you fly from Shanghai to Kunming, that's about three and a half hour flight. From there you take a taxi or train from Kunming to Mile, M-I-L-E. Around there there's a lot of wineyards and here is where the up and coming Yunnan red wine is coming. Remember where you heard it first. So the wine yard is more of like a park. You actually have to pay, show your passport, wear the mask in order to walk around and see the production of the wine. They also have a huge store here where you can buy everything that they produce here. And they produce a lot of red wine as we see here in the background. But they also produce sparkling that looks like this that I'm super excited to try because I've never tried any sparkling wine from China so why not here when you're in Yunnan? I have a Hong Puta Jiao You Hong Puta Jiao The best Hong Puta Jiao This is the best uh,这不是最好的，但是它是最好的那个系列里面的。它这个系列里面呢，它这个系列里面呢有三支酒，这个、这个还有这个。啊，这个是最好的，最好的。但是最最贵的。啊，对，也是最贵的。所以呢，我
，先喝这个红的。必须先喝。那是双色。So I know what all of you guys are wondering right now. Was the wine good? The red one was, yeah, absolutely drinkable. The white one, uh-uh, not really good. We were a little bit disappointed because we only got to try a couple of wines. Of course, you can buy plenty of more, but they didn't serve the most expensive one. Of course, they just wanted to show you a little bit so you can start to buy a lot of other wines. One of the really, really cool things is that you get to see where they actually store the wine. Look at this. It's incredible to see how well protected all the red wine is. No, I'm just kidding. They're actually storing the wine here and they're tasting it every now and then to see how the progress is going. Of course, they have a big ass lock on it so no wine lovers will steal it, but it is really cool. It feels like we're in France or something like that in the wine yard. and Hongzhou in this place. What I also wanted to say is that, okay, should I travel there if I live abroad? Absolutely not. I would not recommend anyone to fly to this place if you're living abroad. If you live in China, absolutely, it's worth the trip. If you're stopping by Kunming, absolutely. Go to Miele, go to the Red Chateau wine yard and there you will get a really really cool experience that not a lot of people have tried actually in China except for me. Now back to the video. Around the Red Chateau Yunnan wine yard there's plenty of other cool things to see as well like this museum. Really amazing architecture. I don't really know why it looks like that because I can't read all the Chinese that says here but it is amazing, it's like a theme park of some kind or some, some type of park and all the wine yards are surrounding this and you can even stay over at one of these hotels here in the background. Pretty friggin' awesome! And to be honest, to try the wine at Red Chateau was not that nice. But to try it here, look at this amazing bar. Here you have a big selection of the Yunnan and of course foreign wine so yeah I would recommend you to check this out and spend way more time here than at the other wine tasting.